Hi guys, this is my very first video. And if you see the title of the video, it is... Well, I'm not sure how, what I'm going to title it. It's going to have to do something with my autism. It's mainly the story of how I survived uh, my most difficult years. Um, being honest with I'm being on the spectrum, but I, you know I'm still on the spectrum. But I'm high functioning autistic. I'm 22 years old, and um, so I'm er, for my most of my uh, most of my early. I was pretty mellow kid. I didn't have any meltdowns. But, uh, when I got older, I started having my first meltdowns. So, when I started when I was 16, and I, I was actually first diagnosed when I was 16, but I didn't hear about it until I was, like, I think 19, and, or 18, I don't know, but... It was like two years, two or three years afterwards. So, it was pretty difficult to me, for me to, like, comprehend, or, how should I say, uh, um, uh, at the time I didn't know what autism was, so, I, uh, uh, basically I kind of studied up a bit. I studied a little bit, but I didn't un completely understand what it was until, like, a couple years later, or, like, uh, well, let's see, I'm 22. I, I didn't understand it fully until, like, like, a little later. But, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, I don't have a script for this video, so, yeah, I'm just thinking out of the top of my head. So, so, my very first, like, I'm mostly, I have sensory processing disorder. So, and, and I also, you know, I have, like, the social aspect as well, but, um, I, mostly, the mo most part that is, like, uh, really bothered me was the flashing lights and, uh, like, people whistling, people cleaning dishes, bo dogs barking, so... I no, none of that really bothered me until I turned 16. Yeah. Um, and in my early years, you know, I I, I think I said uh, I I didn't make any friends, really any any close friends. Uh, but. Uh, So yeah, I didn't make any close friends when I was a kid, or even today. Uh, well, actually, I have a few friends. I mean, mostly my helpers. Um, but anyway, um, so my when I when I was sixteen, I you know I was told I had sensory processing disorder, but not autism. So, uh, so I was, it was like, okay, um, but, you know, I, you know, during, uh, year six, when I was 16, and, uh, uh, let me get into the light here, uh, 16, until I was, 
18. Uh, it was bad, but it was bad. Like, sensory stuff was really bad. Like, but it, it was, like, gradually getting worse in times going on. Mainly because I was avoiding it. You know, I have these earplugs here. I don't wear them all the time. I do not wear them all the time. Uh, like for example, when I'm playing video games now, I do not wear my earplugs. But back when I was, uh, sorry my leg is shaking. Uh, back when I was uh, 16, I used my earplugs and I didn't, when I was playing video games, I had the sound turn all the way down. I didn't have the sound, I didn't have the sound playing at all. You know, I kind of wish I did because, you know, like, games, like, I had a lot of, I played a lot of, like, RPGs and, you know, with great music, but I didn't listen to it. So I was kind of, so I'm kind of disappointed right now because I didn't listen to some of the great music, but I think it was always you too. Anyway. Um, so, uh, anyway, like, first it was sound, first it was sound that bothered me, then, then a light started bothering me. I, not, that never, it never happened before in my life. Like, I would go to fireworks when I was, like, a little 10 years old, fireworks displays, uh, when I was, like, 10, and that never bothered me, but... After, I mean, it still bothers me. It it doesn't. It didn't bother me then. But after when I turned uh, uh, seventeen, sixteen, like uh, well, seventeen or actually no, eighteen, I should say that uh, um, fireworks and you know flashing lights uh, really bothered me. So. Um, so, um, after I turned, uh, 18, I really started to, I stopped, I stopped playing video games, I stopped going out for walks, which I normally do, um, I... I uh I started wearing a blindfold. Um I was basically sensitive to any little changes in light. Like it yeah. During the time um after I was 18 and between 18 and uh 20 I was like super sensitive to lights. And I couldn't even stand, like, at, the point, at one point, I couldn't even stand, I'm blinking my own eyes like this. Yeah, sorry my leg is shaking. But, anyway. Um. So. Um. So that was basically my whole life back then. Uh. Basically in bed, uh, curtains closed, uh, uh, I, uh, uh, face, uh, whatever it's called, the uh, blindfold, wearing a blindfold, and, uh, yeah, just sitting around doing nothing except for talking to my mom, which, you know, You know, uh, um, it wasn't good for me. So, uh, it went, it went, it went, it went so bad as, you know, I started feeling depressed and I, I never attempted suicide, but, uh, but I, I felt suicidal. So, I was, uh, um, 
put into a psychiatric ward. Not once, not twice, not three times, but not four times, five times before I realized what went wrong. Um, well, part of the reason, like, my, med, my meds were all messed up. Like, I had, I was on so many, I was on the wrong meds. I wouldn't, I won't say what meds I was on, but, yeah, I was, I was on the wrong stuff for so long. Uh, well, actually, yeah, I was, yeah, I was on, I was on the wrong meds for so long, and that was basically making me hypersensitive. And, um, they put me on, when I was, uh, when I was in a psychiatric ward, they put me on more meds, which made me even more sensitive. It was not until the fifth try, fifth try, where they got me off all the meds, except for two, and, uh, basically, uh, um, um, Basically got my life back together, or whatever. Um, so, 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 I, so I've been out of the hospital for about two years now, and I, I feel like I'm I'm like a new person. I am so much happier, and. Um, I mean, I don't have a, I don't like, I don't have a job because of the coronavirus and stuff, but, um, I, sorry, my legs, <laughs> it's hard, yeah, some, yeah, one of my medications is that, um, um, so, so the lesson here is, um, I was, uh, for every person with high functioning autism, well, anyone, anyone with autism that with, that has sensory issues, do not avoid things. Seriously, do not avoid things. Now I do have my earplugs with me in handy in case something like loud or some clanging dishes from time to time. But when I'm playing video games or when I'm uh, doing programming or whatever, I take those babies off. I, I when I, when I'm trying to, if I, someone's being really quiet, I take those things off. Um, because, uh, yeah, like, yeah, because basically what happens is, um, you become more sensitive as you uh, cover your eyes, uh, cover your ears with uh, headphones or earplugs or whatever. You become more and more sensitive, and uh, yeah, and you can make you and well, it makes me well, it makes me feel uh, angry and disgusted. I don't know how it makes. Uh, you feel if you're autistic or something, but this this is how it makes me feel. It makes me feel like oh, I want to just destroy something or you know whatever. But anyway, um, <coughs> um. So. Yeah. Um. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> uh, well, sorry, I'm not doing any, like, communist stuff, even though, like, if some of you subscribed, because I, I have my previous name was Kami from Hawaii, so sorry if you did, if you expected something like communist stuff, but, you know, I hope that this was helpful. For people or parents or people with autism, um, yeah. So this this is um, 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 
I don't know what else to say. Um, goodbye. Leave a comment back. Leave a comment down below if you tell me what you think.